Hello and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the final match of the season just to remind you we're in the season 2032-2033 um, uh, the synopsis of the season is that we've just been promoted to Skybet League 1 and we are playing our first season there we are at the moment uh, in 13th we have the opportunity here maybe to grab 12th um, we could be uh, dropping down to 14th, just depending on the outcome of these last matches. Um, recently at the club, we've received our new youth intake, and I've taken a look at that. And the big news at the moment at the club is that the board is currently... Um, the club is currently going through a potential board change. So it's not been confirmed yet, but they are in negotiations. So I've selected the team that is going to play today. We have most of our players back to full health, uh, except our one of our left uh, white target men. Uh, but other than that, we're going to carry on as normal and just see how we play out. The, the, the result of this match is not very important, to be honest. But what we're going to try and do is play a little bit into the future to see what the outcome of that board takeover might be. Um, yeah, so now, in the meantime, since the previous episode and today's episode, we have had a look at the new features for uh, FM 2023. They've been announced, and there's, apparently there's going to be some sort of squad plan out where um, you can kind of plan out your squad, not just for the one season, but for the next two seasons ahead, so up to three seasons, I think. So that could be interesting to play around with. Um, I think that's been the most, yeah, the kind of the highlight, um, the highlight feature, I think, has been the squad planner and all things around that. I think there was a few changes to how reports um, are displayed and the ratings and yeah so a few changes around sc scouting that kind of play into that um, squad planner and also regarding to meetings and um, just doing some subs at the moment yeah regarding meetings and um, briefings and recruitment briefings I think especially so all of those things concerning you know how you plan your squad for the following season and, and the following seasons as well um, also changes to how negotiations with agents work I think uh, just trying to influence um, a move So yeah, it'll be interesting. I will uh, be playing the beta, so I'll be playing around with some of these features as soon as they come out. I'm hoping to have some time to put out a few episodes around that time just to preview the features and play around with them a little bit, experiment with them a little bit. And apologies, I have a little bit of a cold, so i um, struggling to talk a little bit. 2 nil down. It's not a massive deal, to be honest. We, that just means we drop a place, but the difference between 14th and 13th isn't that much, to be honest. So I'm not usually concerned about it. Now we have a chance to do our final substitution here. And I think I'm going to go with Chadwick. So I just put Bradley in, give him a few more minutes before end of the season
Could be our final goal, yeah. It was a good call bringing Bradley in then. So it's a good good sign that we were able to completely slake clear of the relegation battle. Um, we can build on this. We are not in a good financial position though. So that's one of the issues that I'm hoping the new board will address. Um, and yeah, we I think we're 2 million in debt at the moment. I think the new board is a group of supporters, so I'm not sure how much investment they can bring. So that's the, my only concern about the whole deal is um, regarding their ability to clear the debt and make investments. Okay, and we're coming up to the end of the game. 3-1. Three, three, well, it could be 4-1 now. Hopefully not. Let's see. 3-1. Um, it's okay. Against Walsall as well. Also are kind of the top half of the table near the promotion zone. So, not too bad. Not too bad. We managed to at least score one. So it's not the end of the world. There we are. 14th. 62 points this season. Way clear of the relegation battle. So now, what I usually do is just get rid of all, all our loanies. So that um, we don't spend money on wages. But that's not always possible. Uh, Plymouth crowned champions. So they are getting a straight promotion. Peterborough also going for a straight promotion. And then is going to be played out between... Burton, QPR, Rotherham, and Nottingham Forest. Let's see if I can send back some of these. No, okay. The end of season review. Goalkeeper Ruben Townsend chosen as the Best arrival this season. I wouldn't disagree, to be honest. He's played really well for us overall. Because win 4 0 against Sutton. Uh, we won against Birmingham for the league. Um, so we're up on everything as far as revenue, but we're still losing money. best team this season I think I would agree with all of that Accurates, uh I won not sure what that means did I win manager of the season is that what that means manager awards oh no I've, I've won nothing this season okay uh, fan player of the season is the goalkeeper Ruben Townsend, also the youngest player of the season award, signing of the season. I'm surprised he didn't get goal of the season because he, he did actually score a goal from free kick. Goal of the season was actually given to Jack Waterston, which I think is a youth player. Oh no. Oh no, he's uh, one of our centre back. Um, he's one of our centre mid midfielders. Okay. Um, Top goal scorer, Chadwick with 16 goals, also with most assists, and the most player of the match awards. Ruben Townsend with a better uh, average rating, and uh, Juno Lannan, our defensive midfielder, with the most passes completed for 19 minutes. No competition awards for us. And that's it. So, let's see what it brings next I'll skip the, actually this might be interesting to look at so 
they are asking us to play a higher tempo game with possession and solid defense and always reject any optional ones. There's nothing like incredibly looking to sell the club. That's interesting. I've never seen that in the um, in the vision. Okay, but this might happen soon. It might sell the club soon, so that might be fulfilled imminently. Okay, that's accepted. Finish. Nothing really to see here in the dynamics. All as normal. I'll skip the meeting for now. I'll leave that until last. All the players have gone on break. Chadwick won player of the month. Good. Okay. I'm going to congratulate him. And let's see what... Um, what is the expectation for next season? Fight bravely against relegation again. Okay. So discuss the plans for next season. Uh, I think... I think we're going to go with... I've been really encouraged by the way you've... No. No. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which, if I'm gonna make them upset. <laughs> I think um, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. No promises for next season. They're all happy. And off we go. I told them essentially that um, I'm gonna need all of them to fight bravely against relegation next season even though I think we're gonna stay well clear but we have to kind of play the game and the game thinks we should be relegated so we that's what we're gonna tell them uh, we're gonna have a minusculous I don't even know if that's a real word we're gonna have a really really small um, budget Li literally no budget 40 40k we're gonna have a, a nice wage budget compared to what we're gonna be able to spend for players I think we're going to have to use a lot of youth players unless something changes in the meantime. I'm just pressing forward to see if we are going to have any conclusion regarding to this um, board takeover. How are the youth doing? Eighth. Eighth of the league and I think they've been kicked out of all the cups yeah okay so just eighth of the league And uh, for those of you who are also noticing, we've got a Northern Ireland and Wales game. That's because I am the Northern Irish uh, international manager. Mm. I don't think this deal is going to take off. It's still ongoing, I think. Yeah, still ongoing. I might even take a closer look to see what that news item says. I think it's a trust, like a fan's trust, isn't it? Yeah, supporters' trust are rumoured to be on the rocks with the group saying to be unhappy with the way talks are progressing. Um has not been allowed full access to the club financial reports and was considering pulling out of the deal as a result. Okay, so our club is being a bit tight-lipped about how 
the club is doing financially. And there's good reason for that, because the club is doing really poorly financially. If you just take a look at that, it's quite bad. Now, let's see if I can send away some of these loanies. Might have to wait until the transfer window oops, opens up. kind of space barring just to see if we can get further but it doesn't seem to come to any conclusion soon it means that the deal is really it, it is is really they're really struggling to achieve a deal here probably as we've mentioned because of the financial situation of the club Another week has gone past. Um, so if you go back to competitions. So the last place for promotion is going to be played out between QPR and Nottingham Forest. Uh, so the talks continue. Okay, we avoided a tax hit, we have a few more uh, sponsorship deals, nothing too big though. So if you look back at our, our finances, there we've just basically made up uh, half a million, but it's not enough really to take us out of that big red number the club so far has not been keen to pair us up with a bigger affiliate uh, I haven't really repaired financial damage I'm not sure why that's been passed there we go so we're still having issues with the board not giving full access to the financial picture. And another week's gone past. We had a player poached by Walsall. Actually, let's have to take a look at um, any of the clauses we might have. I think I sold most of them. There's this other kid as well, Isaac. He's quite good, actually. Well, the, the clauses are quite good to what it's normally available. So QPR did get that last um, um, place for promotion. We got seven seven hundred and twenty three k for participating in the Skybet League One. That must have really helped us financially. Yeah. Okay, so we're down to one point five million in debt still. 
Um, let's have a look at who got relegated from the league above. Let's have a look at the stages. League. So we're going to have Millwall, Coventry and Southend coming down to play with us. And from League 2, we're going to have uh, Shrewsbury, Lincoln, Oldham and either Wimbledon or Fleetwood. I really hope this decision comes out soon, because it's been nearly a month now. It's either going to be... I, th I think there's two possible out outcomes. Either a really bad deal for the club. Um, so we're going to continue in financial debt. Um, or... So they are continuing the conversations. Or they're going to just fall, and we're going to carry on. As, as as we are now. There's nothing to say. I don't think having a supporters trust it's really going to help us with investment. So I don't think they will have the ability to rescue us from our debt anyway. So Talking about debt, how much do we actually have on debt and loans. Okay, not that much actually. I've got 425k left of our bank loan to pay off. Okay, and if the outcome doesn't come out before I have to do the Northern Ireland um, call up, then I'll just leave it there. We are now in June, or coming up to June. I'm going to have to look at contracts soon. <laughs> Okay, so Rob Crawford has told the club potential new owners to speed up their takeover of the club and ensure that we can operate in the forthcoming transfer window. Because at the moment we can't, we can't transfer players. Uh, the ta the takeover is lasting four months is simply unacceptable, and we will have to pull the plug on proceedings if the agreement cannot be reached very soon. Um, okay, that's good. I've never seen that. Um, news item before. I'm hoping this decision will come out now because I'm about to do the Northern Ireland call-up and I'm gonna have to leave it there because I you know I have to go away and do this call-up now. Um, yeah so we're gonna have to tune in in the next episode then if you want to know uh, whether or not our club has been taken over by new management or not. Um, thanks so much for sticking around until the end and I'll take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.